The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Preaxer Zemium Fungicide, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. Welcome to Soybean School, I'm Bernard Tobin. Every year, growers invest in weed control to keep their fields clean. But quite often, uninvited pests enter their field. On this episode, we're joined by Omafra weed specialist Mike Cobra for a look at what lurks in your field boundaries and how you can control those weeds before they migrate to your crop. Field boundaries are a significant source of really difficult to control weeds and a little bit of effort this time of year. Once all the, the normal weed management practices get done in corn and soybeans, spending a little bit of attention around the perimeter of your field saves a lot of grief down the road in terms of the introduction of tough to control weeds. Right here we actually have three species that, that really aren't that prevalent in the field and one of the reasons for that is every year these little problem areas around the boundary get controlled so that they don't spread either by roots and seeds into the ground. So let's take a closer look at three of these species and why we don't want them in this field. So this first problem weed is perennial sap thistle. Many people are familiar with it. A nice little patch here on the big side. Uh, as you can see though, it's starting to creep into the field a little bit. If you let this get too big, the root system gets bigger. It can creep. It also produces uh, flowers and seeds that can be wind blown into the direction of the field. Nice time of year right about now to hit this patch with some sort of either selective or non-selective herbicide. Because one, it's a small area, you don't have to go over the entire field. And then secondly, you stop in its tracks from, from setting seed and then letting the roots get bigger. So uh, really, once it gets to this side or even up to the early bud stage, perfect time to, to knock it back. Now this is Canada thistle. Same exact problem as perennial south thistle. You'll notice here that it's already starting to get into the early bud stage. So once again, perfect time of year to, to knock this back so that we stop the roots from spreading and the seed from being produced and blowing into the field. And lastly, these two little plants here, these two grassy patches may seem benign, right? But, but actually we wanna keep these out of this field for sure. So here we have a, a little patch of uh, Italian ryegrass or perennial ryegrass and here we have uh, a bluegrass species. They likely came from the turf blend that's, that's usually uh, planted to the grass laneways or roadsides. Uh, this one in particular, ryegrass, there's a lot of genetic diversity. There's, there's populations globally that are resistant to glyphosate. It's kind of a pain to control once you get it into a field. So a couple of small patches here. Let's deal with them now so they don't become a huge problem in the future. So that really illustrates the value of boundary management. They're little small problems. They don't take a lot of time and effort to nip them in the bud before they become huge problems that cost huge money to try and control them in the field.